Welcome to Africa Tea. I'm Vivian Birchall, your host. This episode is about the daily life in an African community. We often get lost in what is going wrong about Africa and Africans and lose the beauty of the way of life of the people in Africa. During my recent visit to Uganda, I was reminded of little things that we often take for granted that add value to one's life. One morning, I woke up to the sound of music and drums in my mother's house. My paternal aunties and maternal grandmother were chatting during breakfast and broke out into melodious harmonies of traditional songs. I wasted no time, wrapped a, a cloth around my pajamas and started dancing with my Africans in the diaspora happened at the recently concluded inaugural African Diaspora Young Leaders Summit in Washington, D.C., and also at the African Festival in Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> The response to African music was instant dancing and cheering to the beats and melodies. This scenario provides an insight into the spontaneous lifestyle of Africans. The African culture is expressed through the diverse population's music, dance, fashion, folklore, food, and crafts. In addition to music, African communities are known for big celebratory events for even the slightest achievements. In preparation for any community event, members take part in food preparation, serving and cleaning up. This might come as a shock to some people in this country, the United States, but Africans are extravagant with food for a good cause. They prepare food for unexpected guests who might show up. It is the way of life and we as Africans are okay with it. Food preparation in itself is a very engaging exercise that often involves multiple people. Preparing different ethnic foods requires specialized skills that are passed on from one generation to another. There are specific foods associated with different regions in Africa. Njera in Ethiopia and Eritrea, Fufu and Jollof rice in West Africa, Banku in Ghana, Egusi soup in Nigeria, Matoke in Uganda, Nyamachoma and Ugali in Kenya, and Ekwang in Cameroon, to mention but a few. Among the people in my late father's kin, one of the specialty foods is a shabwe. Recently, I was given a lesson about how to make a shabwe. <laughs> It 
does not really matter what part of Africa one lives in or migrated from. The daily life of an African community is similar and that is why it is easy for Africans to identify with each other and enjoy each other's company. I hope you learned something new about the African way of life. For more about Africa, visit africatoyou.org and watch our episodes on actontv.org. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Let the people show, you know, the outfit.